Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we got free shipping on number six with cheese.com this week and this week only. And today, local spot, Mexican spot, this is Taqueria Chingon. We got three different ones. We're each getting the same three tacos. So for those of you who really enjoy when episodes have that camaraderie, there you go. Uh, Taqueria Chingon, Bucktown, I believe? Neighborhoods? I don't know. See you soon. Very cool looking storefront. Yeah, it looks super nice. This place is supposed to be very good, very good. All right, we each got three tacos. El Pastor, what they're known for, spring lamb, and duck carnitas. All tacos acquired, jump cut. Spring lamb. Oh, that winter shit. <laughs> Kill it early, bro. <laughs> Taqueria chingon. As a white person, do you not, if you don't right. say it with the accent, Taqueria chingon. It sounds even, it sounds, sounds pretty, worse. Sounds pretty bad. I think you have Taqueria chingon. I, I feel like, should. I think it sounds good. Let us know. <laughs> what are you supposed to do to not sound like an asshole? Nobody cares, Sean. It's like when a white guy's in the, to, uh, ordering off the menu, his name's like Brian or Kyle, and he's like, I'll have the cilantro, and you're like, oh. No, I didn't, Sean. Can you believe this guy? Hi, hello, welcome to number six with cheese. Don't forget to like this video, it helps a lot. This is the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's open this box up and see what we've got. I'm trying to read their handwriting and figure out what tacos are gonna be in here. It says something on here. What's that say? Barbacoa, so that, I think that's a spring lamb. Okay, okay, okay. That would be these two. Oh yeah, I should have known. Almonds, duh. We've got braised lamb, English pea guac, queso fresco, almonds, and salsa roja. Just like they do in Mexico City. Damn. They look so good. They look unbelievable. This is the El Pastor, which is marinated pork, avocado salsa, pineapple, cilantro, and arbol salsa. These look very picture worthy. Yeah, they really do. Okay, can I put this on your lap for a mm -hmm. second? You can put anything on my lap. That's, that's what daddy likes to hear. Now what's <laughs> the last thing we got? That should be the uh, duck carnitas, I believe. Duck carnitas, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what would that mean then? They like melded a duck and a pig together? Well, you wouldn't have to melt them. You can just take the meat. Melt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm glad I'm trying this. This looks amazing. Okay, so this is duck carnitas. Is, it, is carnitas just a way to cook something? Must be, I thought it was pig. Duck carnitas and chicharron. Ch chicharron. Chicharrones? Date puree. Habanero sun choke salsa. Sun choked? No, no D at the end. Oh, okay. Sun, sun choke. Oh, wow. Sun choke salsa. Cara cara orange, which is like navel orange. It's a type of orange. Okay. Radish and herbs. Looks like there's mint on there. Is there mint on there? Look, bro. I read you what's on here, okay? Yeah. I should calm down. <laughs> I didn't skip nothing. I'm using my eyes. <laughs> you guys excited for this? Yes. But look at this. It's got a nice little like holder. For wow, us. is that the nicest holder you've ever seen for tacos? It's amazing. How did they, did they usually get some of these 3D printed and put them in the restaurant too and have them served on that? A lot of places have those. That's but so not, cool. Usually they're metal, not out of 3D when they're in the restaurant. That makes sense. Have you, have you never seen those? I've never been out in public. Oh my God, dude. Can you try to get that out of yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. You have much longer, thinner fingers. Very thin. <laughs> That's the thing you know about Corey. He's got E.T. like phalanges. That's right, that's right. Bet you didn't know I knew the word phalanges. Hey, all right, I, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Follow us on the gram so this was all worth it. You guys want a platter of tacos? Obvious. We've arrived at the part of the video where we actually get to take in sustenance. <laughs> I would like to start with al pastor, if that's okay, with all the pineapples on it. Yeah, first I'm gonna do some lime squeezes. Mm, okay, I'll squeeze my lime with you. And then I'm gonna do 
some salsa. What is it about the lime that just improves the flavor, you know? Right? Not something you would think for food. Honestly, we've done a lot of really good tacos on the show. This might be the most aesthetically, visually pleasing tray. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's up there. Freaking gorgeous. All right, this is their flagship. This is what it's all about, the Alpha Store. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Very good taste, very good tortilla. Tortilla is so good. Holds together too. This isn't, it's soaking wet but not breaking. Yeah, that's a feat in itself. Mm -hmm. That's like an immediate three out of five before you take a bite. Right. Remember we did a sponsored vic video of your tacos or nachos and they were just soggy and falling apart? Yeah. And we roast them. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yo guys, this is sponsored. And they tweeted us and blamed us. Look at this. This is, this came right off. This was cold. The tenderness of that pork, spit roasted meat might be in my top five favorite things on the planet. What's spit roast? When it spins on that thing. That's a spit. That's dumb. <laughs> I didn't come up with it. <laughs> that is dumb. A lot of fruit. Well, how do you feel about the fruitiness balance with the meat? I'm getting a lot of fruit. I'd rather just have the meat on this one. Mm-hmm. Man, that is good pork. Yeah, this thing's tasty. Uh-huh. Well, one thing I will say about these tortillas, I'm glad they stay together. I do have a problem with them. Okay, what's the issue? They're the fleshy kind. A little too close to skin? Mm-hmm. We had that once before, I can't remember where it was. That place downtown. But when they get wet, they like taste like flesh. <laughs> Not that I would know. I will say I, however, don't enjoy the taste of this tortilla. I don't really love the tortilla either. It's the consistency, it's too flesh-like. It's like chewy. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't want my tortillas chewy. This is just like the most gourmet craft taco. Man. All right, what's next? They both are unique. We've got an almond, one with almonds in it. Mm -hmm. Not something I've had. One with oranges in it. Not something I've had. Let's do the spring lamb. This one with almonds. Almonds? Yeah. Spring lamb. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, I like this one better. Wow, me too. I love it. I love it. For a guy who likes spicy and sweet the way I do, mm -hmm. pineapple doesn't do it for me for some reason. I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what, little shaved almonds, mm -hmm. great touch. I agree. Little bit of crunch, it's perfect. This one is so good. Damn. Somehow, the meat's even more tender than the last one. All right, the third and final one. Yeah, this has got orange on it. This is duck carnitas. I haven't had duck in my life, I don't think. Oh, wow. Juicy. This thing is real juicy, real interesting. All right, duck carnitas. Cheers. Mmm. Wow, the orange actually worked really well with it. Oh, I love, that's my favorite yeah, one. That's my favorite one, too. Oh, my God. Oh, that is the most interesting taco ever. Sweetness from beginning to end, but not in an overpowering way. And that meat is a little more like, mm. it's a little more packed in there. Like the, the protein itself, like that taco bite you're kind of used to, almost like in a ground beef taco, when it all kind of goes together, mm. that's kind of the same consistency. I just had the meat by itself. Mm -hmm. Like when you fry up meat and it gets that crispiness. Yeah. It's got more of that, at least on the bite I just had by itself, and that made it really good. Mm. Whoa. Guys, I got one juicy lap. I'm so glad that we tried such different things. Yeah, things I've never had before in my life. Duck carnitas. Bro, Spring duck is Spring lamb. What a way to do it. There's a creaminess to it that I really like. Yeah, what is it? Is it just because it's so juicy? Maybe. The juice level is high. I'm just obliterating these napkins. Oh my god. Prime scene. This meat is really good. Duck carnitas is my new favorite thing in the world. You guys are finding out in the moment like I did. I need to go through like a human car wash. <laughs> what do they call it, a shower? Somebody ought to check this thing's prostate. That's how sloppy these bad boys were. We gotta get out. I'm using the towel from churches. <laughs> okay. All right, well that was great. Um, bye, no, uh, before we go ahead and pick our favorite, that's a good way to do it, right? Let's yeah, pick let's, pick let's pick our favorite. Let's pick our favorite. Let's pick our favorite. Because those were insane. Those were insane. Let's do a shout out. PayPal, PayPal shout out, PayPal, PayPal shout out, PayPal, PayPal shout out. One of the best ways to support number six with cheese is shooting us a donation. A lot of people said, you know what? I don't want the monthly charge of Patreon. I don't want, you know, Patreon taking out a big cut. PayPal, boom, a donation does it. And today we have names of two different people that just dropped up a dropped up, dropped us a donation to support the show. And that is truly insane to us. It makes the tacos be purchased, because those tacos weren't cheap. I'll be honest with you. So yeah, today two names. That's right. PayPal shout out number one goes Mr. Pete Bellino. <laughs> Pete donated $30, and boy do we appreciate that. Thank you so much for donating, Pete. Thanks, Pete. And PayPal shout out number two, Mr. Craig Hollenbeck. <laughs> Craig, uh, he had a fun number. He said, I want you to remember me. He did $113, so dude, Craig, thank you so much, man. I will.
That is super fun. I love when people pick their own little weird numbers. Maybe they mean something to you, you know? Maybe we're 113 out of 100 in your hearts. You know, there's a bunch of different ways. Uh, so below this video is a PayPal link. You can click on that. Uh, it takes you just straight to a PayPal donation page. It's clear as day. Also, if you want to click, at it, click on it in our banner, it's up there too for future purposes. So thank you. And also before we rate this real quick, in two days, Saturday, we're doing another live show, right. 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. Uh, come on by, you can buy us hero shots. Uh, we'll we'll uh, have a bunch of other fun little things that we're doing that include you guys. And we'll just be able to, for a couple hours on a Saturday before you go out and do your thing, just all kind of Probably kick another it. live food reveal. I would love to do it. Last time, uh, Courtney Basinger, a huge fan, bought us the Thai chili boneless wings from B-Dubs. B-Dubs uh, tried to screw them, but. They tried, we figured it out. Kind of. Uh, so come on back and then also enter in a chance to win um, us doing a food review by, you know, just throwing down. So see you Saturday for that. Uh, but right now, uh, we're going to pick our favorite taco here today. Uh, and we have our resident drummer just sitting right off camera in the Bucktown area, Mr. Eric McCluskey. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. All right, on the count of three, your favorite taco. Deal. Do you have to pick? Yes. I think they know. One, two, three. Duck, duck. Carnita. Yeah. Yep. I could have just said duck. Duck. Ducks fly together. Because we are ducks, and ducks fly together. That's right, Jan. Um, that one was amazing. It was amazing. I've never had duck carnitas, now I have, and I'm obsessed. It's so good. Yeah. It's like in seventh, eighth grade, like a girl would just look at me, and I was obsessed with her. Right. That's like right. what the duck carnitas did to me. Uh, so, it's really weird. See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Back at Corey's, cracking a beer, hanging out, kicking off the weekend. Uh, Takaria Chingon, nice job. Incredible. See you guys hopefully again soon. Goodbye.